Hello and welcome to my channel Study with Pradipto. In this video, I will discuss week 5 assignment 5 and search of the course database management system in details. So the first question is which of the following can be the solution of password leakage in database servers. So here in this PDF, we can see that if the passwords are not encrypted, then it is too risky for critical application. So storing encrypted passwords can be a solution of password leakage problem in database servers. So the first option is correct. Now the second option that is reusing passwords across different sites. So uh, if we used the passwords in different sites, then it is too risky for critical application. So that means uh, it is not a solution. So uh, uh, it is not the answer of uh, the co this question. Now option C, single factor authentication using passwords. So here it is written that single factor authentication such as passwords too risky for critical application so that means it is also not the solution of this problem now two factor authentication that means password plus one time password sent by sms now it is a solution because two factor authentication is used for uh, solving this problem password leakage problem in database servers now coming to question number two which of the following statement uh, are incorrect now here you can see clearly that javascript is a client-side scripting language so that means it is uh, a correct statement but in this question you have to uh, find the incorrect statement so uh, the first option is uh, not the answer now uh, the second option is uh, written that world wide web is a language used for designing web pages but uh, the web that means the world wide web is a distributed information system so it is not a language that is used for designing web pages so it is an incorrect statement so uh, option b is one of the answer now uh, hypertext transfer protocol that is also known as http protocol is connectionless but in this question it is written that hypertext transfer protocol is a connection oriented protocol so it is also an incorrect statement now j2ee platform supports parallel processing now uh, java 2 uh, enterprise edition that means uh, which is in short called j2ee platform supports object parallel processing across multiple application servers so it is also true that means it is not an incorrect statement it is a correct statement so b and c are the answers of question number two now coming to question number three consider the following table defaulter of which the key is our id name amount if we want to create an index on deed column which type of indexing will be preferred so the answer will be dense index now i will give the explanation that why the answer is dense index now a dense index is preferred because it provides a direct mapping between the index key and the data record and given the stable structure a dense index on the deed column would create an index entry for each deed value allowing for efficient retrieval of the records based on deed and the others options are not correct because in case of sparse index it is only stores the index entries for some of the keys not for all the keys and uh, the secondary index is not preferred because it is an index which is used on a non-primary key column but here id is a primary key that means defaulted id did is also a primary key so secondary index is not preferred for that reason now clustering index it's not the most efficient choice for direct lookups uh, based on a specific deed value so uh, clustering index is also not preferred so dense index is our answers for question number three now question number four a magnetic disk has 16 platter surfaces 256 tracks per surface 512 sectors per track and uh, 1024 bytes per sector how many numbers of bits will be required to address a sector now how will we do this problem now here the number of surfaces is given as 16 that means 2 to the power 4 number of tracks per surface is given as 256 that means 2 to the power 8 number of sectors per track is given as 512 so 2 to the power 9 and number of bytes per sector is 1024 that means 2 to the power 10 now we uh, if we want to uh, calculate the number of bits per sector then 2 to the power 4 into 2 to the power 8 into 2 to the power 9 that means 2 to the power 21 because we know that 4 plus 8 plus 9 equal to 21 so it is one type uh, by which we can calculate the answer and another process is there uh, that is total sector is equal to number of surfaces into tracks per surface into surface uh, sorry sectors per track so after uh, doing this product we get 2097152 that is the total sectors now if we want to find out the number of bits per sector then log total sectors base 2 if we uh, do that then we will get 21 so in both ways we will get 21 as the answer so that's why 
option B that means 21 is the correct answer for uh, question number 4. Now coming to question number 5. Availability of redundant arrays of independent disk system is 97%. Mean time between failure that means MTBF is 36 days. What is the approximate mean time to repair of the system? That means uh, we have to find out MTTR of the system. So uh, this is the uh, equation that is A equal to MTBF by MTBF plus MTTR. Now availability is given that is 97%. So, uh, we can also write 0 0.97 because 97% means 97 by 100 and MTVF is given as 36 days. But we have to give the answer in hours. So, we have to convert these days into uh, hours. So, we know that in one day there is 24 hours. So, that means in 36 days there is 36 into 24, 864 hours. Now, uh, we can easily find out the MTTR of the system. That is 0 0.97 equal to 864 by 864 plus MTTR. If we calculate the value of MTTR, then we will get 26.72 hours. So it is the answer of question number 5. So option B. Now coming to question number 6. In a coding competition, participants individually can enroll their names for the competition. Now, there are many groups in the competition depending on the age of the participants. Now, a participant can participate in only one group and a group can consist of multiple participants. Each group has a unique name and a participant also has a unique ID. The result of each group will be maintained separately. So, which of the following statements are correct? So, there are the statements and B and D will be our answer. Now, since each group is uniquely identified by its name, the entity must have a primary but here it is written that the entity group will not have a primary so it is not a correct state now uh, option b participate will be a one to many relationship between group and participant so it is true because if each participant can only belong to one group at a time then it implies that one to many relations now participants will have a many to many relationship it is not true because a many to many relationship implies that a participant could belong to multiple groups and a group can have multiple participants but here it is written that a group can consist of multiple participants but a participant can uh, participate in only one group so that is one to many relation now option d is g name can be the foreign key of the participant relation between group and participant now uh, since each participant belongs to exactly one group the table storing this relationship must have g name as the foreign key. so it is also true so b and d are the correct answers for question number six now in question number 7, a flash storage system uses the size of a page 4KB and 32-bit page address for its operation. Moreover, the flash translation table is stored as an array. If the size of the flash memory is 64GB, what will be the size of the flash translation table? Now the page size is given as 4KB, the page address size is given as 32-bit that is 4 bytes because we know that 8 bit equal to 1 byte that means 32 bit equal to 4 bytes now total flash memory is given as 64 gb now if we want to find out the total number of pages it is the relation that total memory size by page size now total memory size or the flash memory size is 64 gb that means if we want to convert 64 gb into kb then we have to uh, multiply it with 1024 and 1024 if we multiply 1024 with 64 gb then we will get 64 mb and if we again multiply 1024 with it then we will get uh, that many kb now uh, this uh, total memory size by 4 kb we will get 16777216 pages this is the total number of pages now size of the flash translation uh, table is equal to total number of pages into size of each entry that means size of each entry is given as 4 bytes if we multiply then we will get 6710886864 bytes then after dividing it uh, with 1024 into 1024 we will get 64 mb so 64 mb uh, will be the answer of question number 7 now coming to question number 8 consider the following string of reference so some numbers are given now find the number of replacements value where the string value is replaced by a new value because the buffer is full in card using the list recently used buffer replacement algorithm with three empty buffer frames that means there are three empty buffer frames and we have to put this value here now if we uh, put 12 then uh, there are no replacement is needed if we put 25 then uh, there no replacement is needed if we put 31 then uh, there is no replacement is needed then after that when we put 42 then uh, there is no place remaining for this 42 so then we have to delete one value so 
what value we have to delete the least recently used value so first we put 12 so it is the least recently used value so we have to delete this 12 and uh, it is replaced by 42 that means one replacement is needed for this step now we have to put 20 uh, sorry uh, 12 so uh, we have to put 12 in place of 25 because it is the least recently used value so uh, that means replacement needed is 2 now after that in the same way we have to proceed that means when we put 25 then uh, we have to put it into uh, the place of 31 so replacement needed is 3 now we have to put 50 so we have to put 50 in the place of 42 because it is now the least recently used value so 50 we put uh, in the first frame so uh, the number of replacement is increased to 4 then we have to put 12 but 12 is already exist in the frame so no replacement is needed at this step so after that we have to put 25 and 25 is also there so no replacement needed at this step also then after that we have to put 31 but here replacement needed so the least recently used value is 50 now so 31 replaced 50 so the replacement needed is 5 it increased to 5 so now uh, we have to put 42 in the frame so uh, 12 is replaced with 42 uh, so that means the number of replacement needed increased to 6 then after that 50 we have to replace it uh, in place of 25 so the total number of replacement needed is 7 so option d that means 7 is the answer for question number 8 now question number 9 consider a file organization where the size of one record is 48 bytes and the size of disk block pointer is 10 bytes one of the and the size of one disk block is 512 bytes if organization of the file is sequential and unspent uh, then maximum how many records can be stored in one block okay so these are the options and uh, the equation is number of records that can be stored in one block equal to block size and the record uh, by record size uh, so uh, the one record size is given as 42 bytes and uh, block size is also given as 512 bytes that means 512 by 48 we will get 10.66 which is nearly equal to 10 that means 10 will be the answer of question number 9 now coming to the last question identify the correct statements about the following red levels so option b and c are the correct answers and now here is the proof that red zero is used for stripping it is not used with mirroring so it is not the correct statement now red one provides disk mirroring without stripping yes it provides disk mirroring red one stands for redundant array of independent disk one it is known as disk mirroring okay so red one is used for provides disk mirroring without uh, stripping so it is uh, the correct statement now uh, option c that is the red 3 provides byte level stripping with dedicated parity checking so yes it is true because red 3 byte level stripping with uh, dedicated parity okay so now red 5 provides byte level stripping with parity bits so it provides block level stripping not byte level stripping so it is not true that means option b and option c are the correct statements but option a and d are not the correct statements so if you get some help from this video then like the video and share the videos with your friends who are doing this course. Thank you for watching this video.